Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, please like and subscribe. Yeah, yeah. That good. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Good morning. We are on Lost Trail Pass. I think, um. Montana now too. Idaho did a better job of clearing the road than Montana. So we were on black roads and now we're not. Okay, I guess we're gonna come down nice and slow. It was black as we crossed the border into Montana here, the roads turned white, so we're gonna just run no engine brakes, just Drag the brakes and come down slow. Yeah, the mountain is too. The side just naturally gets more snow. Yeah, it could be. Other side of the mountain. Yep, makes a difference. Because yesterday we built this side got more snow than that side before snow. True. So. Uphill, I was booging. I think I'd still be booging uphill over here too, but. Going downhill on ice like this, yeah. you start sliding, you're done. Yeah, we're empty, so we don't have that extra weight. There's no traction. Yeah. I wasn't expecting it to be such a switch. Yeah, it is really, really was. Like you stop on top and it just poof. Yes, it is April 14th, 9.16 a.m. Remind me to do the trip sheet as soon as we're loaded. And we have to enter today's modeling file? History? The, today, the one we delivered today. Yeah. Has to be added. Let's try engine brake level one. At least on the straightaways. Straightaway ish. Yesterday you warned me that these roads are narrow and crazy. Yeah. Until you experience it, you don't understand how crazy and narrow it is. They're narrow and crazy. I greatly enjoyed it, but at the same time, we can understand as a driver how it would be crazy. Still plow the pull out. Is this the fifth winter? I've been with you to count them, so you'll have to count them. We've had a few winters. I just 
definitely good for the summer. I have fires hopefully and that means it's such a drought. It doesn't say how steep the grade is. Fairly steep grade here. Yeah, it's gonna help for forest fires, so we need the moisture. I can't help but think that, we were talking about this yesterday, I can't help but think our seasons are shifting. Yeah, winter came really late, and apparently summer's coming really late. It's no longer where we say our season should start, they're kind of still like moving. It's not plowed to get back out. <laughs> That's just plowed for them to push snow into it. Could be, yeah. You should take a picture of this for me to post. There's a couple photos I've been thinking about. We're not done with the big passes today. No, there's more passes coming. Those big passes usually make us chain up. Going to Bonners, Montana, loading and then delivering uh, Kelowna. That's supposed to be a delivery for today. Yeah, there's no way in heck. No way. <laughs> I'm like, no. No stinking way we're delivering that today. We're not going to make it home until tomorrow. It's Easter weekend, so tomorrow's a stab, so we'll get a couple hours in tomorrow. Anyway. <laughs> That's a nervous giggle. So turning off the engine brakes, I put full engine brakes and uh, the truck started sliding sideways. It's like off, off, off. <laughs> so we are now out of control. Second there, I was setting us up to jackknife. I really do not recommend that. Yeah, so we're gonna take I 90 later. Yeah, most likely I 90 all the way to Spokane. Huge pass. Yeah, there's a couple of masses there. July 4th being one of the bigger ones. So, mandatory chain up might be a thing. Yeah, tomorrow's Good Friday for us. I know for you guys, it was two weeks ago, and it's snowing. At least we're not getting hit as hard as Manitoba is. And 
the Dakotas. And oh, all the way from like Louisiana, all the way to <laughs> Manitoba's getting. Yeah, they're not getting snow all the way down there, no, but, but they're getting tornadoes mm -hmm. and thunderstorms. And everything else. Crazy storm. That storm's supposed to start today for Manitoba. When the cell service, you should send that picture to dispatch. Um, when we have cell service? Yeah. That way they understand why we're running slow. I like doing that, just that they're in the loop. And... Again, this week will be one. I guess you aren't used to that. Once you do it for long enough, you don't even notice your ears pop. So we made the delivery today morning at 7 a.m. local time, 6 a.m. our time. Salmon that worked out nice and smooth. It was definitely fun to talk to her this morning. Uh, she's an awesome dispatcher. I think we're getting up to a little higher speed, a little more straighter roads. So we just had a couple of deer and a couple of elk already. Yeah. Hit the brakes pretty hard for elk and deer already. So. After yesterday's video, it didn't get any better. <laughs> no, no <it> <laughs> the deer are everywhere. Lost Trail Hot Springs. Chain removal area, half a mile. I think they put that sign so people don't just stop on the road here. The chain of barrier was odd though, because it was on your side of the road. Cell phone pull out in quarter mile. Here they have chain up and chain off on the opposite sides of the road, but you know that in Idaho it was all on that side of the road, chain on and chain off. So is this also your cell phone pull out? I think so. That could be a bad combination. And here the roads look dry. Okay. Engine brakes on full, throttle full, cruise control on. That's a unique sign. Huh? That was a unique sign. Was it a unique sign? What did it say? You have to have certified weed free weed free straw and feed from So you cannot import hay and straw bales without them being certified to be weed free. Yeah. Interesting. You don't want invasive weeds to come into farmers' yards. 
Interesting. That's got to be a pain for farmers here. So it's not easy to import hay in from Idaho. No. videos in the same order so they're a little more timely but right now the bonus videos are like a uh, look into the future so right now members already knew we were running in Idaho and Montana two weeks ago and that I was with you and that the Jess was with us I guess everybody knows that because of the live stream. True.
So we didn't have to chain up there. We'll see. We have to chain up on later on after we're loaded or not. Depends on how the day goes, if it gets sunny and melts or not. A little too quick the corner for you? She's leading into the corner. It's not a giggly corner, I'll try it. <laughs> I thought it was funny. I find the signing um, not adequate compared to what we're used to in BC. Yeah, there's a lack of signing for sure. In BC, there's a lot more signing telling you exactly what speeds to go. Here, the signs don't tell you the right speed or, or no signing at all. some corners I'm like whoa break 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 I didn't see any warning that that was gonna be a sharp corner coming up to a tourist trap of a town Derby or Darby 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 Montana Slow down to 65 miles an hour. Better speed up. It gets me sometimes because your Isaac doesn't switch to miles per hour. So I'll look down and I see it in kilometers. Oh, the speed down. The yeah. speed there. So he'll get me sometimes. I don't know if you guys can see the speed. Huh? It depends on the day of the angle. Depends on how I set the camera up, yeah. yeah. Here's some of those narrow roads Jess was talking about. Where the truck is running on the yellow and white lines around the corner. And you just hope that you don't come across the wide load. Oh, a wide load would suck. We have seen wide load going down this highway, so... I just not meet them in this section. I saw a white load today on top of the pass. Mm -hmm. Let's get those rumble strips. Well, I did not get water splashes from those rumble strips. So that's not water, that is ice. Am I going to get a bunch of water mist coming off? No, I did not. Good little test. Those are all little pockets of ice. Dude's driving around the corner and his rear wheels are steering. He was misting a little bit though. So the little pockets might be frozen, but the roadway might be... Bitterroot River, East Fork. I had a little side slippage there. Doing a little drifting on the bridge. <laughs> No, you guys will never see it on the camera if I'm sideways. I know the one time we I thought I was all sorts of sideways. I watched the video later on and I'm like, oh, the camera corrected itself because of the auto stabilization. And so. 
I would have to be very, very, very sideways. If you guys can see me sideways, I'm in trouble. Over here, 
Yep, this is where the elk were yesterday. Yep. Yep. Don't see him here today. Cows are like, oh, finally we got our field guy. I wonder who wins. Oh, there were some of those uh, cranes. What were they called? Sandhill cranes. Sand. Sandhill. Sandhill cranes. I saw them way in the background. There's two of them. I saw Space something. Closed. I saw something yesterday with the cows. Two of them. Like that crane. Yes, last week I called them gray herrings. I don't know if you guys have corrected me on that or not. I figured it out myself. Oh, guess how? Sandhill cranes. Oh, there's some elk over here. Yep, we go to the right. I'm always hesitating. Like, is it a pack of horses? Or are yeah. Or is it elk? From that distance, you can't see. Elk are definitely bigger than the horses, but. What do you call a group of horses? A herd? I don't know. stuff on us. I thought we were over and done with this. Are we migrating north a little too early? Group meeting. Bitterroot River. definitely a wild west type of town. Uh, they still have taxidermy and they customize cowboy hats for you. And the whole town seems like a good wild west tourist trap. And there's fudge and stuff. Yep, candy and fudge stores. Yeah. It'd be fun to go visit it as a tourist. Do the tourist trap thing. Sometimes it's fun being a tourist and just paying excessively large prices for things. It's like, it's about the experience you're paying for, not, not exactly. for the actual product. Last week too. And then 
sometimes they have to run another place too. And yep. I don't understand. I don't know why there's security there, but there is. There'll be another spot on my side somewhere. Or there's another one. We passed already. Oh, we passed that one? Yeah. It's really weird. You know, it could be as simple as a very important person is staying at the golf course or yeah, someone okay. high profile. I think you're probably right. Because it doesn't really make sense. Basically, we're going to make sure you actually are staying at this golf course and not... Paparazzi. Yeah. And that could be just a famous person or a politician or you know. Here's Darby. Welcome to Darby. And not the main, not just the main drag that has the Wild West looking buildings. A lot of the side buildings. kind of keep the old look to a lot of stuff. And a lot of them are old log houses, old log cabins, old churches, and all the buildings in the back are plastered together next to each other like they did in the old days. Mine, mine rush, so this could have been a gold rush town. Marshal's office. Campus 
is like and what kind of going through engineering and automotive and farming and uh, uh, doctors and pretty much a mix of everything, lawyers, all these different campuses that you kind of go, hey, this is what's out there. I like that. It gives, it gives, they did a grade 11, that way in grade 12, when you're making those decisions, you can go back to those. I really like the experience on that campus, right? Yeah. I really would like to get into that school. And I'm sure the colleges and universities paid for those field trips. Yeah. There was something going out there to make it possible. free lunch in their cafeteria and stuff like that. Yeah. I think we do that with the local university. This is the one. I can't really recall. We went to the university for different reasons, different trips and stuff, so I don't really know if that was part of it. selling thing, but it also gives students the ability to choose a little better. That railroad is definitely not active because that driveway, they built the driveway right over top of the railroad and it was like two feet of gravel over top of it. Definitely a dead railroad. Shopping in the U.S. where it's have 
more variety and cheaper prices. Well, with the same trade, who knows if it's actually cheaper. Yeah, but the variety of stuff that you can't buy in Canada. Like a big block of Tillamook keys. this road. That used to be a paved road with mines in it. Why is it not anymore? Why is this not a four-lane highway? Is that not obviously part of a four-lane highway? It is. You see parts where there used to be paved and it's been turned into gravel a lot of the places now. Almost like they built a brand new highway to make it a four-lane. And they had that part of the highway was so bad they needed to resurface it. And then they ran out of money or budget change or or new election and all the contracts changed, right? Yeah, definitely should be a road. Incomplete. This is an in incomplete four lane highway here. It wouldn't take much to make it into a four lane highway. All you have to do is resurface and pave. It's a four-lane highway. It's definitely one of those that should have been. And somewhere, politics happen. Sleep somewhere, at least you got lots of spots to pull over and sleep. <laughs> now, all you have to do is dump some gravel on that road, smooth it out, and pave. Done. That must be a four lane highway. But you have to merge on and off on both ends. But Looks like here it goes through the trees where there used to be a bridge. And then it goes down under the railroad there. Uh -huh. So that's the old highway. They built the new highway right beside the old highway. Why not connect it up over here? Have a have a just just that section, make that a section of four lane highway. I said politics happen. I'm not sure why you guys have flashing lights. It doesn't seem to be a reason to do that. You're not oversized, over width, or over length, you're not over weight. You might be overweight, but you have lots of axles underneath it. There should be no need to have flashing lights. I see flashing lights, I'm ready to pull over. How wide is that boat?
Hamilton. Close enough. All, all, all the advertising is starting here already. I'll see some tax for the whole time. Oh, yeah. With the chain up, we've got a chain up. It's extra 20 bucks for me. decisive there.
It's a nice city. It's a fairly big city. Mm -hmm. But it looks like a small town feel to a big city. Yeah. Because the way it's spread out. Downtown to the left, I bet the Main Street has a very a lot of the red brick buildings. Yep. Yeah. Okay, yep. what town that pilot is in, pilot flying J. If we see that, I'm pulling in. Oh, we stopped that yesterday? No. Uh, Another one down here. I was looking for it yesterday and I couldn't spot it. It's on your side of the road, a little off the road. Okay. Keep my eye open. I think you want to get on. I got a red light. Coffee Company. Isn't Florence like a town or two over? Somewhere, yeah. Must have started in that town and built over to it. Somehow heavily it's like grizzly bear related. Must have them around there somewhere. On the mountain somewhere. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt if there'd be a lot of grizzly bear in this kind of environment. Anyway, I think I've taken up an hour of your day. It's been new roads, new environments. Kind of fun doing this. Hey, Plan for Monday right now. is to load and barrier, 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 barrier. North of Kamloops on Monday. Jess will not be coming with next week, but probably the week after again. What's the game plan? So thank you guys for watching. See you guys tomorrow. 
we're out of here. You guys rock. Adios. This video is brought to you in part by the letter C and these YouTube members. Cookie starts with C. What other things start with C? Oh, who cares what other things? C is for Cookie and that's good enough for me. Thanks for watching. Um, nom, 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 nom.